Hello Gemini, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. Let's set your intention for your love reading. This is the Sacred Forest Oracle by Denise Lynn. So let's see what the intention. New beginnings. Okay, nice. Transcending Pegasus. One more card for your intention. Setting a positive intention. Pixie spirit, purification. Okay, so let's hop into your love reading and see what is going on in love for our Gemini. Okay, so this is a traditional love reading. So I will look at a person of interest for you and see what your energies are at this time in that relationship. Let's see what with the bottom of the deck we have. Four of Cups, feeling a little bit sad and lonely here, but very stable. Okay, so let's see what we have. The mutual energy for you and your person of interest in the past has been some sort of conflict or uncomfortable conversation. The Two of Swords says that whatever it is that you were discussing doesn't look so much like it was very personal but it does look like the two of you are going to avoid a particular topic at this time. The Fool card, your person wants a new beginning in love with you. They want to take the leap of faith. They definitely want to have some fun with you. They want to engage with you. But your person is very optimistic. They think very highly of you. They feel very much that you have a lot of wisdom, a lot of love, and a lot of gifts that they enjoy. They enjoy this about you tremendously. How they view you, they view you as a very smart person. You're coming in as a queen of swords, somebody who makes a head over heart decision, somebody who's very wise, very balanced, but also somebody who puts their heart in the cage when things get thorny or tense that you tend to become very intellectual that's a libra that's the libra queen so you're very much about being balanced your person sees you in that regard as being you know as very accurately viewing the way you process information in their heart space they feel so much passion towards you gemini look at that this person even has like a tear of sort of missing you. I feel like the two of you have been going through kind of a rough patch in your lives generally because the feelings between the two of you um, look like they're favorable. In fact, they look much more like they're in tune with you. You may not be so much in tune with them for various reasons because of that Libra Queen, but we'll see. This person in their heart space wants this passionate, passionate new opportunity with you to build a future. The High Priestess. So the way your person sees a path forward with you is something that's very strategic, something that they are keeping to themselves, something that really, you know, an energy of deep love, nurturing, kindness, sweetness. The High Priestess is a keeper of secrets, so your person is not prone to really talk a lot. I feel as though the person that you're, you know, that you're with has a very nurturing heart, a very nurturing soul. This is Cancerian energy. It's also Piscean energy because your person is very intuitive and they see you as very intuitive Gemini they feel very much that the path forward is one that's sweet and kind and nurturing and very discreet just this person does not talk about their feelings a lot in the energy that's hidden between the two of you is Virgo energy you're both seeking enlightenment you're both somewhat alone in this journey at this time looking for answers on the journey of trying to figure things out for the two of you spirit is recommending the advice from spirit is to heal your hearts there's a lot of swords energy right now with this four of swords five of swords two of swords 
So we're going to clarify that and see what it's about. But look at that. The Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. This is Sagittarius energy. It's really about timing and about the fact that the relationship itself will blossom and bloom uh, at the right time because we do have the purification. So purification, I think, has very much to do with your thought processes, getting yourself out of this worry, and transcending difficulties, which, you know, very much is this healing card, transcending that. And when we look at new beginnings, there we go, we have the new beginnings already. So let's jump in and clarify this reading for you and see what we have. So, Gemini, Five of Swords energy is, as you can see, somebody has said or done something that may have crossed a boundary. Now, it's not the end of the world. The Five of Swords can just mean um, a, a misunderstanding or words that could have been harsh. But let's see what that is. Tell us about that mis list, this situation where there was a misunderstanding. Knight of Swords, somebody came in very strong, very, uh, very, almost pushy in their words. Um, and we have the High Priestess, look at that. So the High Priestess is energy again that says both of you are very sensitive to one another. You're both, I would say you're almost psychic together. You can pick up on one another's energy. And it really speaks to the fact that both of you want to heal any old wounds, any old arguments, any past stress that you've had between the two of you. Very much healing energy with that, the High Priestess. The Nine of Wands, you both have fire in your belly, Sagittarius. So it speaks to the fact that even when things go sideways or, or when you have conflict of some sort that's uncomfortable it doesn't at all alter the fact that you two love each other a great deal the star card once again a card of deep healing of deep love uh, the star is so much about the spirituality of a love relationship and being able to keep it very calm very beautiful very loving you know, there's not a relationship that exists that does not have differences or conflict. It's a natural part of life. But the two of you adore each other. You love each other. The love that you have for one another is very significant. And you both feel that way. So the devil cards coming out here, some words that were spoken are very much, um, were difficult for you or your person to hear. There's a feeling almost that one of you wants to control the other. The devil card, as you can see, the two people are very controlled by their, their attraction together. It's like they want to be together. So this is also about the ties that bind. So the two of you may be separated by circumstances or you may not be fully coming together at this time because there is, you know, the elephant in the room is that you're not free to do so the king of swords though with the queen of swords says speaks very much with the justice card that the two of you are able to keep very balanced in this relationship that you know when you, there's never this feeling that the other person is out to get them you know you know how sometimes when you think why are they trying to make me mad or why are they trying to upset me and the answer is neither of you are trying to upset each other. You both care about each other a great deal, but there is this elephant in the room. You know, the devil in the room is that the two of you want to be together, and yet it doesn't seem as though you get enough time together, you have enough opportunities together. And, you know, we see that your person definitely wants this new beginning because of it. You know, they want to leave the past behind they want to the world card is the two of you are very successful together as a couple here we have the ten of pentacles the two of you could build a legacy together the two of you could expand your person thinks the world of you they feel as though with you the two of you could build a substantial relationship that would be very life enhancing one in which you could collaborate 
one in which that you, they don't have that relationship with you right now. And it actually makes them feel kind of sad. Your person's trying to figure out how they can have the relationship that they want with you. Tell us more about the moon card, please. Tell us more. The five of coins. Your person's missing you. It looks as though the two of you are not in separation from the traditional standpoint. I see a lot of communication, but what I see is two people very frustrated with what seems to be eluding them. I would say that both of you probably with this card work an awfully lot. The five of coins sort of chasing the coin uh, instead of earning it together, you look like you're on this separate journey right now. But your person's intention is to get the two of you in that Ten of Coins energy to collaborate on something. But they're not telling you. They're holding this back from you. They're afraid you might not accept the idea. So whatever that is. But your person definitely wants that beautiful Ten of Coins. That's the relationship of abundance. It's a relationship in which you, you marry, you own a home together, you build something of substance for your future, you build for retirement, you set aside educational funds for children, you have enough money to be very abundant. So how do they view you in this? They view, aw, Gemini, they view you as highly romantic. They see you as a person, Pisces person, who really loves them, who is a person that, you know, when when you're not really tested, that you're very sweet, that you're very kind. Look at that. They also see you as the Queen of Pentacles. They see you as that very nurturing, kind, loving person. And the Queen of Pentacles is almost always inevitably involved in a Ten of Pentacles type relationship. So why is it that they feel so passionate? They want this, they're very passionate about the new beginning with you, Gemini. Why is this person feeling so passionate? The Five of Wands. Well, they don't want you to go off with someone else. They don't want anybody competing for your attention. And so they feel very much that they have to stay front and center with you. We see the Queen of Cups. They love you. Oh, Gemini. That is a lot of nurturing energy that I see for the two of you. The two of you look like you're very soft and sweet together. You look like you're. the two of you are very happy together. Tell us more about the Queen of Cups, please. The Queen of Swords. Aha! So both of you love very deeply because that's a mommy card. That's a card of deep love, commitment, giving what you want. But you both have a tremendous amount of love for this relationship. And this Queen of Swords is that both of you are very rational. Okay. So this is, of course, Libra. So both of you must have, you could have Libra in your chart, but it won't make any difference. It's the, the energy you bring to the relationship. So the High Priestess card, what is the High Priestess telling us about your person? The, they see the plans forward as being secretive. You know, the High Priestess does not discuss what they're doing. The High Priestess is completely silent. She, quote unquote, keeps her own counsel. And here we have it that just popped out of the deck like that. Okay, I don't know if you could see it, but there it is. So we have the Four of Wands. Your person sees you as their mate. So we have two marriage cards for your person. The Four of Wands is a card of stability and love. It's about buying homes together, creating a future together. But it is a card of deep love and, and building the foundation. So that's what your person wants, Gemini. Whoa, that is really sort of exciting, right? All right. Oh, look at this. We go from the Hermit card as clarified by the Empress card. Both of you are trying to figure out how to nurture the relationship, how to create this abundance and beauty and love and sweetness that you have for each other. You both nurture this relationship even when you're alone. Six of Wands. Both of you want to be a public 
couple. You want to be able to announce your relationship to the world. You want success. You want happiness. You want joy. That can be uh, an engagement card at times for some. And the three of wands, you've chosen each other. Your ship has come in. Gemini, Gemini. <laughs> I'm excited. This is a nice reading for you. So why do we have the Four of Swords here? What's going on with the Four of Swords? What, what is it that needs to be healed according to spirit? Okay, so let's see. Nine of Cups, you need to have more fun. The two of you. In the Nine of Cups, we usually see two people eating, drinking, and being merry. And what we see is that you're working too much is what it looks like to me. There's a lot of stress for both of you and you're not having enough fun. So Spirit is recommending that you heal your hearts, that you move forward by spending time together, being joyful together, have a drink, have a nice meal, go out, do something. You know, really consciously take time away for yourselves as a couple so what else do we have okay so we have the five of swords again and the death card so it does look as though something has to end before the relationship can move forward right now for many of you this relationship might not be fully formed but it looks like a long-standing relationship that isn't quite what you want it to be so spirit is saying go ahead get rid of that which is unfair whatever would be unfair to both of you in this situation heal from it and be willing to be reborn again in this relationship so what do we have about this wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is is coming in as timing as everything all oh, three of cups three of cups eat drink be merry uh you know that's the ten of cups sort of down nine of cups i should say but the three of cups is all about being best friends being lovers being very much happy being cel you know having a celebration uh, that is very much the energy of you know, when you get the ace of coins a celebration of life is essentially celebrating the relationship the four of cups says that you know when you don't get to see each other it looks as though you feel very very uh, you know you're like looking for that love where is it where is it so what we see here is a magician card is coming in also as your outcome so the time is coming in the very near future when everything the two of you have manifested is coming to pass what happens is the four of cups we have three here and the fourth cup is filled with love and so both of you neither of you are seeing fully how much you love each other and i don't think that you're talking about it a lot but you're leaving it to uh, the fates to decide what's going to happen so let's look and see what it, what else we have here for this outcome. Now, immediately following this, I'm going to just open the thoughts, feelings, and intentions and actions your person will take towards you. So I'm going to do another card spread. Six of Cups, bended knee. That looks like a proposal, right? <laughs> Bringing lots of cups of love. So it does look as though your person absolutely loves you. You love your person. So it's only a matter of time and the wheel of fortune as to when your opportunity of love comes. So that's what we have. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up the cards and we're going to do your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions and see if we can get more information for you here. Let's see what we have. We just have to separate the cards out. There we go. Okay. All right, so Gemini, let's see. Your person seems to be stressed out, Gemini. I don't know what's going on with them. It'll be different for everyone. But I think they work too much, or I think they work quite a lot. And um, so let's see. Gemini's person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions. Okay. 
so we're going to go ahead and pop these out. I'm going to let Spirit pick the cards by popping them out. Okay, so we're going to go with that one. The Eight of Wands, they want to come towards you very quickly. They want to tell you something. They are thinking of that love needs to grow up here. <laughs> that at the end of the day, they want a relationship that's more than the Page of Cups. So they're coming in, they're rushing towards you to tell you very passionately that yes, they love you, but they want more. Nice, okay. The Ten of Wands, they want to give up the burden of the secrets of the relationship. We see in their heart space that they feel quite overwhelmed. They feel overwhelmed with the love that they have for you. Again, there's this feeling of they want what they want. They want this beautiful Eight of Wands. And not seeing you and not spending time with you is making them sad. They very much want to spend more time with you, Gemini. We have the energy of the Seven of Cups reversed, which is a good reversal. They have a lot of clarity about how they feel. They know that they love you, Nine of Cups, and they definitely want to make this relationship more abundant. You know, overall, they just want a lot more happiness and joy with you. Let's see. In their intentions, fire in the belly. Ooh, they have fire in their belly for you, Gemini. The strength card is the courage to make changes, the power, the ability, the strength to follow through. They have made a head over heart decision of what they want and they know what they want. So their heart and their mind are in synchronicity, as we like to say. Look at that. They want, they intend to invest in the relationship and they know what they want. This person is not, does not have any confusion, nor do they want to keep their options open, Gemini. So let's see their actions. Nice. Three of wands, making the choice. Ships have come in that you are their person, Gemini. You are their person. And we have the Four of Swords. They have been hurting without you. They feel as though the relationship, their life isn't as good without you. The Star card, hopes and dreams for love coming true. So they're going to heal. They're healing some sort of wound that I don't think has anything to do with you. But we will clarify it. Look at that. Yet again, another marriage card. So we have we had the Hierophant in the earlier spread. We had the Ten of Coins, the Ten of Cups. What is it this person has to heal? The King of Wands. Ah, okay. So this person probably at one time was a big flirt. And now they want a victory with you. And they want to make sure that you want it with them. That is a card of reconciling any differences or any problems in the relationship. So that's your outcome. I am loving it. Jim and I am going to leave it there. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Sending you love from Chicago since I'm back. Tell me where you're from. Thank you.